in a rare public show of frustration. Local politicians call out both witnesses to a weekend shooting and the police. Saturday night, someone opened fire in a Boynton Beach neighborhood, hitting four adults and a little boy. News Channel 5's Jacqueline Powell was there when two leaders said they want action. Jacqueline joins us live. Jacqueline. Kelly, two days after the shooting, the only thing that we know for sure is that the people who were hurt will survive. As far as a suspect or a motive, nothing else. Police and witnesses aren't talking. It's been an emotional couple of days on this street. Family members not knowing whether two of the men shot, brothers David and Julian Daly, would survive. Very amazing, but only the God was looking out for them. And he called me this morning and said, Mama, I'm not died, I am alive. Daphne Jones told me her grandsons are both in stable condition. For the victim's protection, police and the hospital aren't allowing anyone to visit them in the hospital, not even Joan, their mother. I just want to hold my sons and pray for my sons. In the meantime, she's begging for something to be done in her neighborhood, claiming her sons were just bystanders when the shooting started. It's like a war zone. Something got to be done. This can't, this can't happen anymore. It's got to be cleaned up. Among the five people shot, a six-year-old boy. The ice cream truck was parking right there, and the little baby went to buy ice cream, and that's when he got shot. Today, local politicians asked people who know something to say something. No street code of silence should stop anyone from helping the police get these people off the streets who did this. We can't help the community if the community will not help us. And Boynton Beach Vice Mayor Mac McRae called out the city's police department. And I'm with the chief constantly saying that people are calling me saying, where are the police? They need to be more prevalent up and down those streets. And that is one of my issues with the police department here in this city. Late this afternoon, Boynton Beach Police Chief Jeffrey Katz responded in a statement saying, I'll leave the politics to the politicians. We will release information once appropriate. We continue to ask members of the public with information to come forward. Reporting live in Boynton Beach, Jacqueline Powell, WPTV News Channel 5.